Sometimes it's okay to not be happy and it's okay to share that with others. I had the privilege yesterday of interviewing Ajit Nawalka, who's the co-founder of Mind Valley, and he was sharing a story about how he got this incredible job at Mind Valley. And while Mind Valley, for those of you that don't know, it's a company that shares incredible spiritual mindset, uh, almost like a university. Uh, for people seeking that and he joined when it was early on and through that time they grew really really quickly he was very young at the time and he was in what most would consider a dream job making great money around great people doing great purpose and, and impact in the world and yet he was going home at night drinking and feeling unfulfilled and i can't tell you how many entrepreneurs and people we work with who are in that same exact position but because everyone from the outside is telling you your life is amazing you're up to so many amazing things you almost feel ashamed and embarrassed to share the fact that you're not happy or you're not fulfilled and then you go at night questioning why am I unhappy why am I unfulfilled I have all these amazing things in my life and it's these moments that don't allow us to be honest not outwardly and definitely not with ourselves and we get into this pattern and loop of just questioning, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Just because you're in a great position financially doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be happy. And just because everyone around you looks at your life as something magical, if that doesn't feel accurate and valid and true for you, then that's something that you get to be with. We work with people from all over the world every day year that have gone through life and have checked every single box and the problem is that you check the box you buy that fancy car how good does that feeling feel great right but how long does it last a day a week a month and then what okay well that didn't do it so I'm gonna to go to the next box okay I'm gonna buy that big house and again fleeting okay I'm gonna join this company fleeting and the worst moment is when you've checked every single box that you set for, up for yourself only to realize that none of that made that empty void feeling inside of you go away because the truth of the matter is when you're dealing with that feeling and trying to fix it with all of these external things then all you are doing is putting a temporary band-aid on that and the band-aid falls off and right back to the same feeling. Now whether that feeling is around relationships or whether you keep sabotaging yourself around your health or your business or your fulfillment, it is okay to ask for help. I cannot tell you the thousands of people that I have spoken to that struggle with this on a daily basis and feel ashamed to speak about it. So I want to give you the opportunity, if that is you, reach out. Whether it's to Satori Prime, myself, my brother, or someone else that you know. There is nothing wrong with you. It is just your realigning to something. There is a desire to want more and have it all, and that is perfectly normal. Just because you have X amount of money in your bank account, drive the fancy cars and have the fancy house and have the family, doesn't necessarily subjugate you to this category of I get to be happy all the time. No. You get to choose on a moment by moment basis what is your purpose, what is in your alignment, what fulfills you. And if it doesn't, then get curious, get interested, start asking questions. Don't sit in the dark, awake at night, drinking or self-sabotaging yourself because you feel bad about asking for help. You're not alone. So if that's you, and you're looking for some guidance, some sort of support around this, I'll leave my information down below. Feel free to reach out. And if you've enjoyed this video and you know someone in your life who is going through this, please share this video, like it, and make sure you subscribe to our channel as we are constantly sharing nuggets of wisdom like this. Till we speak, hope you have an amazing week and an amazing day.